and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Q&A for you guys, my monthly q and I'm very excited for this Q&A. Um, it feels like I haven't done a Q&A in like forever. I, I feel like I always say that, but it's really true. Obviously, I am in a different room. Um, the surrounding is different. The walls are not purple. The lighting is a little bit different. Let me just clear one thing up. I moved. Um, yes, I still live in California. I still live in Calabasas. Yes, we just moved into a bigger house. Yeah, I moved. So that is that. New year, new house, I guess. I don't know. I'm still in the process of decorating my room. It is not all the way done whatsoever, but I would like you guys to please leave me a comment down below and let me know by thumbing this video up if you guys want a room tour. Um, I also, that room back there is actually my bathroom so I have a bathroom inside of my room now so I can do like a room tour slash bathroom tour or like two separate videos I just really want to know if you guys want to see that so please let me know in the comments down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see it because if you do then as soon as my room is 100% done I will do a complete room tour and I'll do a closet tour as well if you guys want that so just let me know let's dive into the Q&A I always do something really weird when I'm trying to transition I'm like you know it's just like break it down if you could use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, for me, mm, it would probably be Makeup Forever. I wear the Makeup Forever concealer. Um, it's, I just, I have no words. It's pretty much all I use because I don't like wearing foundation on an everyday basis unless I'm going out to a party or like something where I know like I need foundation. But for the most part, I can just use that concealer and I'd be good to go. Um, anything by Makeup Forever is like my absolute favorite. So probably Makeup Forever right now. What do you think will happen on the next Pretty Little Liars episode? I have no idea. Pretty Little Liars is such a, um, what's the word? Hmm. I'm trying to think of the word. Um, it's like a, a mind warp, a brain twist. Is that what they call it? I don't know. It just it's just so confusing basically is the word. It's a confusing show, but I love it so much. I don't know about you guys, but Mr. Fitz is just mm, 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 mm. I know he's a teacher and I should not be saying this, but come on, let's be honest. We're all thinking it. How much do you love American Horror Story? <laughs> Literally, I just screamed. I love American Horror Story so 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 much honestly like American Horror Story is my entire life in one um literally I'll ask any single person I know do you watch American Horror Story because I I like to kind of get my friends hooked on it um pretty much I've been watching that since since deep in last year, um, since like mm, September, October of last year, I just have no words. That show's amazing. Flew through the first season, flew through the second season. Loving this third season. This third season is so, like, sassy. Oh, I love everybody's characters. I'm just so excited. And I cannot wait for, I think, what's going to be American Horror Story Circus, people are saying. That's going to be crazy. I'm excited. No words. And Carrie Diaries. I mean, those two shows, that... Carrie Diaries, American Horror Story, Teen Wolf, Pretty Little Liars, there's more, I'm forgetting more, Gossip Girl, 90210, but I already watched those shows, but they were amazing. But yeah, don't even get me started on Carrie Diaries. I've watched Carrie Diaries from the very beginning and loved it ever since. Who is your celebrity crush? Um, besides Zac Efron, who's probably everybody, is I love Dylan O'Brien, Evan Peters, um, Jake Miller, who's a singer, literally, no words, he's just gorgeous. Oh! Austin Butler, Colton Haynes, what am I doing? Austin Butler and Colton Haynes, uh, and I'm probably forgetting more, but it's all that I can think about right now. Literally sounded like somebody was trying to come in my room. <laughs> what is your favorite food and why? My favorite food, uh, I don't know, I like home my mom's homemade macaroni and cheese, it's just, it's just, this is some point. I also love pizza. When in doubt, pizza out. Did you get a New Year's kiss? I actually did this year. I'm not going to say with who because you guys know who this is, so I'm not going to say it. But yeah, I did get a New Year's kiss. Um, it's my, it was my first New Year's kiss ever. I've never gotten an actual kiss on New Year's ever. So yeah, 2014 New Year's kiss. Woo -woo. Do you watch Teen Wolf? Is this even a question? I've watched Teen Wolf for probably two years now. No words. No words. What do you think of Kendall Jenner and Harry Styles being together? I don't know if they really are together. I know they've been seen in public together. I know there's all these type of rumors, but you never really know which celebrity is dating who. Um, I happen to love Harry Styles. I'm sure all you people watching this love Harry Styles. No words. But, you know, if it makes him happy, go ahead. Date her. I just, whatever. You know what? I'll just let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you call me music. Hold on, moment of silence, hold the phone. We're letting Harry go. Just 
skinny. We're probably never, ever, ever gonna let him go, but uh, who knows? Taco Bell or Starbucks? I'm married to Starbucks. No. Ooh, oh, drama. I did not mean to say that I'm married to Taco Bell, but I'm pretty much engaged to Starbucks. So, I mean, it's, it's a long story. Uh, it's kind of a love triangle, but you know, both. What is your favorite vine of Nash? Um, my favorite vine of Nash is one where he's like singing with his baby sister and he's like, and you'll never be royals and his baby sister's like, you can call me green beans. That is like iconic. Like that little girl is freaking iconic. Like if I, when I meet Nash, I'm literally just gonna, where's your sister? Cause I like want to kidnap her. Not like in a creepy way, but kind of creepy. I don't know. I just, I love that kid. That kid is, she's just so freaking cute. Favorite boy YouTuber to collab with? I really want to collab with Joey Graceffa. We talked about it recently, so you never know, but um, I think I really want to collab with Joey Graceffa. I don't know. I love him so much. He's so much fun. So I made a group text message with my friend Richie and Clay, and yeah, shout out to Richie and Clay. Thanks for being in this group text message that we're in. That, yeah, so that doesn't make sense. Anyways, hi Clay. Hi Richie. You're probably watching this. What is your favorite Justin Bieber song off his new album, Journals? My favorite song off his new album, Journals, is definitely One Life, and I'm going to play that right now. moment when my mom tries to come in but <laughs> what is your favorite song at the moment um or songs it was plural it was plural it was plural y'all I have a list of some favorite songs that I'm just gonna play for you guys um obviously I mean if we're going into albums obviously Beyonce's album I really love petition or partition partition I really really like that song it's kind of scandalous but it's it's so perfect <laughs> Another song I love off of Beyonce's new album is Mine featuring Drake. Literally can listen to that song all day long, all night long, all day long. So good and then I don't know if you guys know this about me but I really like electronic kind of alternative type music I really like the band Two Door Cinema Club there is this song called Sun and it's literally my life I take my music very seriously, so when I get new music, I get so happy and I blast it in the car and I'm just driving and my parents are like, will you turn that down? And I'm like, I'm driving, okay? Let me know in the comments down below what type of music you guys are into. I'm into all kinds of different music. Like, I could dance out to Drake and then John Mayer and then Beyonce. I mean, you name it, I play it. If you can own any animal as a pet, what would you be? Wait, if you can own...
Oh, I'm so dumb. If you could own any animal as a pet, what would it be and why? It would be a panda, a real life panda. I know that sounds weird, but I am obsessed with pandas. I love pandas so, so much. Everything about them, they're so cute, they're so cuddly, they're so funny, they're perfect. So, it'd be a panda. Richie asked, Zac Efron or Harry Styles? That is really hard. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go with Harry Styles. That is all for this Q&A. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, again, if you want a room tour. Also, thumb up this video if you guys want a room tour as well. And, um, what I really wanna do, since I do have a bathroom inside of my room, it's gonna be a lot easier to film, like, hair tutorials and stuff if I do, like, my whole hair routine from, like, washing my hair and everything. So, let me know inside the comments down below if you guys want me to do that and I will film it now that I have a bathroom inside of my room. It's a lot more convenient. But, yeah. Yeah, that is all for this video. Bye! That was such a weird bye. You know, Tila, can we just take a second to realize that I get weirder every single video. Just more and more weird. I don't know what's wrong with me.